right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Born in Louisville, Kentucky back in 1942 as Cassius Clay. Here is Muhammad Ali, no denying the hands. He says he's worked pretty hard on his takedown defense coming into the UFC team. Well, he's going to have to. He's the greatest boxer of all time. But it won't be just boxing that will allow for him to find success inside the UFC. But if you know Cassius Clay, if you know Muhammad Ali, you know he's the most fearless competitor that you can find. He's a tremendous boxer. Now it's time to see what he can do inside the UFC doctor. And he's got a lot of size, he's got a lot of length. People really enjoyed the visual on the scale here on Friday. Muhammad Ali taking his greatness to the octagon here tonight. We'll see how it goes. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's the most fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, the. And now, if you see the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Muhammad Ali! Herb Dean, third Ready, man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, here we go with round one. And what do you do as a UFC heavyweight if you are facing Muhammad Ali? It's simplistic to suggest that you can just shoot at his legs, right? It's not as though he hasn't been working on his wrestling and training. But you know what needs the dance for Muhammad Ali? Being right on his feet, moving well laterally, working off of that jab. Just an absolute treat to have Muhammad Ali on the proven ground. Fight behind a night jab. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Unable to land with that punch. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Straight right is there. Kick landed. All right, so it gets series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Left hook to the ball. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter 
striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Chet, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick piece. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's opposite. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Nice shot lands downstairs. Past the two-minute mark in round one. Oh, nice. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh! And just misses with that big right hand. Well, at this point, he is really... He's hurt again! there to no avail. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Ali. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate up there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. It's a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jet, too. Oh, nice kick. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh! just before the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. So the ref doesn't try and stop this fight. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Oh, misses with the jab. It got checked. Well, it takes a very good striker to be able to land going forward and moving backward. And as you see the numbers there, the counter striking has been absolutely on point for him here tonight. Oh, oh he gets up. The question is for how long? Nice leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, my goodness. That is it! Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. We set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.